Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, let's talk about Deontay Wilder. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, y'all yeah, got some more news on them. Um, people were saying that. Well, Fernando Vargas Jr. said that. Charles Martin was getting a fight, but he got three other options. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And basically those options, Charles Martin, Robert Hellanius, whatever his name is, that knocked out of Adam Konowski and Adam Konowski. Um, my whole thing is, you have to make all, Water made all that money. He made $20 million for the Brazil fight. Um, he made $20 million for the Ortiz, Luis Ortiz rematch. Um, he made, uh, that's a good question, man. $32 million plus versus Tyson Fury. So, I mean, he made a lot of money. He living good. You see the cars. So, basically what he's doing is, he waiting to see if he can win arbitration versus Tyson Fury. I heard he won mediation. And basically, he was gifted. 32 million dollars so he didn't have he didn't have to fight but now he wants to fight tyson fury he don't want to just get paid which sounds stupid to me but i get it he's a fighter he wants to uh he wants to basically redeem himself he wants to redeem himself and i think we all we all can understand that um you know a guy that got beat twice to in my opinion by tyson fury a lot of people say well we got beat once he got beat whatever you want whatever make you sleep better at night in my opinion, he got beat twice, okay? Um, you know, and he got beat in Black History Month, so, I mean, he got your ass whooped twice. Now, I'm just thinking, like, you know, I guess he wanted a, a third time to, uh, you know, try to, and you gotta respect that as a fighter, because you know you probably get your ass beat, beat a third time. But my whole thing is, why? I get why, but why? You know, you probably not gonna get the fight. It sound like they're making, you know, you know, alternative plans for you to f come back against Martin, Hellenius, and Kanalki. Right? You're not going to be fighting for no belt in those fights. Um, you know, I'm just like, like, come on, he might as well just take the 32 million and retire. And I also heard it was another rumor part of the mediation that he was going to get the winner of Joshua and Fury. And that don't seem to be right. So, I mean, I guess you want a, a mediation, you probably going to want to win arbitration. Um, that is what it is for me. I, I'm not, I, don't, I respect his part as a fighter. But this alternative is just like, come on, man, just retire. Because <laughs> you're not going to get a shot at Fury. You're not going to get a shot at uh, AJ again. You didn't get a shot at AJ when you had a belt. Now you're going on PBC to fight Hellenius, to fight, uh, who else? Kanowski, or to go out here and, 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 and fight whoever. You know, my question is why? Why? You know, you're not getting a shot at the title. They gonna relinquish those titles, and I guess he's gonna be called a two-time champion. Then I get. I mean, for me, for Al Hammond to ask him to fight to fight uh, Charles Martin is just a slap in the face because Al Hammond could have made a unification against Wilder and Charles Martin, but he chose to make AJ a champion because he thought Eddie the Pilgrim Hearn was his best friend. That's what he thought. He thought Eddie Hearn was his best friend, and Eddie Hearn turned around and fucked him. So now that's why he don't want to make fights with Eddie. Cause Bob got kicked off HBO, you know, Al being emotional about the shit. And, you know, how can't you? But then again, you're supposed to be this, this businessman. You know, and then you being emotional in business instead of, you know, getting even. But then every time Al Heyman has somebody come over, meet him in the middle of the street, like Wilder and Fury 2, they get these fighters get their ass with. Because he don't know how to rank a fighter up. He got terrible matchmakers, in my opinion. He don't know how any matchmaker wouldn't have put him in a Wilder in the ring with Fury. You know, he just terrible everything. You know, and that's when this fighter step up against good fighters and get their ass with. You know, top rank problem is they don't know how to keep their how to keep their fighters happy. I don't Bob Aaron don't want to pay nobody. But you know, I mean, I wouldn't fight Charles Martin off the strength unless they overpaying me. That you know, I'm fighting him later, and then you know, we could have unified and Al Hamman. And I wondered if Wilder called Al Hamman and say, "Let's do this unification battle with Charles Martin." You know. Did he, he, he shouldn't have to speak out as a fighter. He shouldn't have to speak out as a fighter. You know, Al Hammond should have made it, but now Al Hammond, with less than learning, Al Hammond just want to make all in-house fighters. That's what Al want to do. Al want to do all these in-house fighters. Can't get mad at Al. He want to, you know, because he been chipped. He shot. He tried to show good faith. 
And then Earl did beat Kell Brook, but Eddie Hearn knew that. Kell Brook didn't have no history at 54. We weren't going to have no future at 54. But, you know, you just look at the situation. You laugh. Because Deontay Wilder, he ain't too bright. You know, and there's rumors that now he want to fire Shelly Finkel. Man, shit, nigga, you about 15 years too late. When they didn't make that AJ fight, we should have just ditched his ass. Then they was talking about fighting instead of Tyson Fury. They were talking about fighting with Vladimir. But you don't get it after fighting Vladimir after Fury and AJ beat him. But in hell, he was going to get his ass with Vladimir or Tyson Fury. Didn't matter. I think Tyson Fury being the best heavyweight in the world, I mean, look better on him. But shit, you know, he can fight either three of those, and I guess he got the fire to still fight. Me personally, shit, that motherfucker should just retire. Shit, the fuck he's still fighting for? He take that 32 million and retire and invest it and do all that shit I'll do. You know, carry the one and triple it and quadruple it and time, 10 times your money, you know? But shit, that's what he want to do. So you can't fight, if you can't fight a fighter, a true fighter for one to fight. But shit, what's the point of fighting when you can't, when you can't reach the pinnacle? You know, if you told every fighter you only gonna go 20 fights and, you know, you ain't gonna never fight again, who gonna continue to fight? People gonna find another profession unless you tell them you're gonna be a very, very rich guy. Who still want, who want to fight? And what I mean, we can't reach the penalty. We can't fight Tyson Fury, AJ. They gonna drop whatever belt they win between each other. And not gonna fight Tyson, Deontay, why they probably gonna retire soon after, you know, fighting each other three times, two or three times. Oh my God, Detroit drivers, man. You just wanna just... Choke somebody, dog. They cannot drive in the deep little shit. I'm in the suburbs. Can't drive anywhere. You know. But I mean, you know, if that's what he wanna do as a fighter, man. Shit, fuck it, you know. But everybody gonna wonder how Tyson Deontay gonna come back. But one thing about it is he ain't gonna listen to his trainer. He ain't gonna listen to that man. At all. He ain't gonna listen to Melissa. How you gonna not listen to Mar Breland, who probably the greatest Olympian of all time, US Olympian? One of the, you know, good fighters of this era. You're not going to listen to a guy that been a world champion, won the gold medal, but you're going to listen to a guy you knocked the fuck out. No disrespect to Malik Scott. But keep it 100. You're going to respect Malik Scott? You're going to listen to Malik Scott? He's going to stop running and breaking camp chasing this woman? Chasing this woman? You know, they say he's leaving camp early or breaking the middle of camp chasing this woman, leaving camp early chasing this woman. Shit crazy to me. Shit ridiculous. You know, but you're not dedicated. You don't want to listen to nobody. He ain't got so much money that he feel like he above everybody. And Tyson Fury, check that out. And then it ain't like he ain't get no, uh, it ain't like he ain't get no warning. You know, it ain't like, like, you know, he ain't get no close call. He got a, 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 a gift in the first fight, you know. Second fight, he still don't want to listen. He want to do his own thing and shit, got knocked the fuck out. Got dropped, stuck. He got dropped, stuck, shut up. Nigga beat his ass. And now he want to fight the fight him. He want to fight the fight the man again. Shit, go ahead. Go ahead. You know, I ain't mad at you, but shit, I ain't paying to see no black man get his ass whipped by that white boy again. You know, Deontay Wilder. What else he gonna be doing? You know, if you ain't if you ain't improved over over the last five or six years of his career, other uh, system remains to burn fight. When the first one ever fucked that was. You know. And he gonna come in. I had an injury. Somebody spiked my water. Then what happened when he beat his ass again? If I'm a Lee Scott, I think twice before I go into that man corner. What if he accused me of spiking his water? Like shit, no loyalty. And then behind the scenes, on the cool, people said that was just about him not wanting to want to fire. No, not, that was his way of scapegoating Breland because he stopped the fight. If you want, you know, he seen when people when he put that out there when, when people started to hear that out there that um, you know, he fired Breland. Because he stopped that fight and people in his reception people gave him. If that man had something in his glove or, or whatever that was, you know, why you wanna fight him? That was that was people's first reaction. Why you wanna fight him? That, that's that's kind of was like what my thing was. Like why you wanna fight why you wanna fight him again? Why not sue him? You know what I'm saying? Why you don't thank Mark Breland for stopping the fight? Thanks, Mark, for stopping that fight, man. You saved my life. No, that's how you know he's full of shit. And I hope, I hope he get knocked the fuck out by Charles Barton, whoever he fight. Hope they do the. I hope they do the one eight seven on his ass. <laughs> hope they do.
But yeah, I mean, it is what it is, man, with him. I mean, I don't want to see none of them fights. You know, PBC good for giving you fights that should, you know, over marinate or overcook fights that should have happened years before. Man, they, they great at that bullshit, man. You know, you're going to tell them, you're going to try to package Wilder and Kanaki, Wilder and um, Charles Martin and Wilder and Helene. Anybody want to see that shit? People was barely showing up to watch Wilder fight Luis Ortiz. Man, I'm like, damn, what a great idea. Oh, we gonna make Wilder come back, bro. Nobody wanna see that shit. Charles Martin fight should have happened years ago. Years ago. This don't make no sense. And then, you know, just, just tired talking about the PBC boys. And then, they wanna talk about, you know, Ariola is gonna fight um, Andy Ruiz. You know, and that fight should have happened, <coughs> excuse me, late last year. Are you freaking ki kidding me? You know, Andy Ruiz been getting in shape and now he's going to fight Ariola, but that ain't even a kicker, dude. Now, Ariola, now the, if, if Ruiz beat Ariola and Wilder win his next fight, if he don't get the uh, Fury fight, they talking about doing Ruiz and Wilder on pay-per-view. And that's crazy. Like, they ain't got one belt. Like, how you going to justify putting that on pay-per-view, but you know PBC and Floyd Mayweather, they love black versus brown. I, I look here, I wouldn't spend my enemy's money on that fight. If Fox's PBC gave me money to spend on that fight, I'd take it, I'd take it and buy me some Benny Hines. Get out of here. Ain't nobody about to, you know, care about that fight to begin with. I don't care how what method they got as far as making money off the of, off of boxing, you know, that PBC got, because they don't they don't really care about the pay-per-view numbers. Apparently from what I heard, they making money a different way, I know, but I ain't spilling the beans. So they don't even care. Like, they don't even care. Like, nobody want to see that shit. You know, if they had all the belts and then Wilder scolded uh, Andy Ruiz for, for lacking and not coming in shape to fight Anthony Joshua, but then, you know, he breaking camp, chasing this woman because he don't probably chase, uh, he don't trust her. You know, he breaking the middle, okay, then leaving camp early, not listening to Mark Breland, you know, and now, you know, he going, now he going to chase that woman and then he coming to fight, get his ass whooped and he don't want to take responsibility for his own fault. He want to blame Mark Breland. You ain't listened to Mark Breland since you fought with Mainstream Iron. You know, you thought you was about to go in there because you fed into your fans, you know, your, your hardcore fans, you fed into that uh, bullshit that you thought it was a long count, but you want to do all that dance and shit, you know, and not let old boy get a 10 count or an 8 count. So I don't want to see Wilder and Andy Ruiz for no hundred bucks. You crazy as hell. Two former champions. Man, this is, come on. Who over here making ideas? You know, and I don't want to pay nobody to come over to fight. But he expect Eddie Hearn to front the bill and pay Wilder all this money more than he worth. He expect Bob to front the bill. It's over with. If this is what they going to kind of got for Wilder, he might as well just take the 32 million that they allegedly offered and just retire. Take the money and get the hell up out of here. He might as well just retire. Don't make no sense. What is you still doing it for, dude? You're not gonna go to the pinnacle. If you can't go to the pinnacle to sport, forget it. That's that's what I just don't get. I honestly don't get it. I'm so tired of driving out here, man. I can just choke one of these drivers, dude. But, I mean, if that's what he want to do, so be it, dude. I mean, I, you know, at one point, you got a lot of respect for Wilder. But when he threw Mark Breed on the board, what Malik Scott expect he going to do to him? What Malik Scott think going to happen? He going to be talking about Malik Scott slipped me a Mickey. Get out of here, man. If I'm anybody around Wilder, let Jay Diaz train him. Let Jay Diaz earn his keep. He getting a manager cut and a trainer cut, and he don't know shit about boxing. He probably can't even tell you who the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history was. He probably Googling right now. Shit. And that's my thing, dude. But, I mean, Wilder want to do what Wilder do. Who cares? He's going to be a forgotten champion in the near future. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about him fighting Kanalki, Martin, or Hellenius. 
or 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 and if Ruiz beat up uh, Ariola, him fighting uh, Ruiz is a winner on pay per view. But I appreciate it. People think these punk ass charges really fast. I mean, you done run over some potholes. You done dog the motherfucker so much. You know, ain't, ain't shit. One of, one of the most overrated cars in history. Them bullshit ass charges and challenges. If you a real baller, get you a fucking Benz or some shit. But I appreciate it. You know, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Also got a Facebook group. All those links subscription. Want to make a donation to the channel. Cash app CJ Good. Want to free that subscription. PayPal link there as well too. Appreciate the love support. Keep sharing the videos. One time for one time. About no, I'm on the phone. You on the phone? Yeah, yeah. Looking at my baby. No, no, no. I ain't looking at him. Right? I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Finish. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring and shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him.